Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Lala here. I am here to talk about a new product I just got. As you can see in the title of this video, we're going to be talking about um, deep conditioning your hair and what to look for in a deep conditioner, what I like for in a deep conditioner, um, and just give you guys a review of this new product I just purchased the other day. Um, the Cream of Nature Pure Honey Moisture Replenish and Strengthen Hair Mask is for dry and damaged hair. It is supposed to replenish moisture, strengthen and help reduce breakage, super slow detangler, and tames and controls frizz. Which, my hair is super, super frizzy at this point because it is very humid in Nashville, where I'm from, where I live. And, um, yeah, so let's just get right into this. This bottle I got from a local beauty supply store. It is 11.5 ounces, and it was $7.99. Um, it wasn't that expensive, and which is why I wanted to kind of try it, because I've been seeing a lot of people use their new line, so I wanted to try it. I used to use this back way back in college. Um, but let's just open it up. Um, it smells really... It smells good. Um, it's very thick in consistency, which is what I look for in a deep conditioner, because I don't want to buy a product that's runny. If it's claiming to be a deep conditioner, I want something that's super, super creamy, super, super thick. And like when you go buy a blizzard at Dairy Queen, if you flip it over and it fall out, nah, sis. So like I said, it smells good. It does smell like clean. Like, uh, I can't really tell you what it smells like, but it does have a nice smell to it. So I'm actually going to use this today. I'm not going to do the whole wash routine, yada, yada, yada. I'm going to get straight into the deep conditioner hair mask. I probably will sit with the cap on after I put the hair mask on. And then I will put on my heat cap. This heat cap is so awesome. I will probably do a review on this one another time. But I probably will sit that on for however long and catch up on Game of Thrones and then come back and tell you guys how it did when I rinse it out. Okay, so I just finished putting it um, pretty much all throughout my hair, like at the root part and kind of just raking it through um, with my hands. But I like a lot of conditioner. So I'm actually going to put some more. <laughs> on before I before I um, put my cap on and put my heat cap on as well to sit with it soaking in um I usually typically naturally I most of the time I ain't gonna lie I sleep in my conditioner um overnight just because I want to make sure I get the benefits of it soaking up soaking in for a while before I rinse it out and that's when I have like time to do that because I can put my hair up in a cute scarf or tie it up some kind of way and no one realizes like oh she's deep conditioning um and, and I, I'm not just out here looking crazy with conditioner in my hair like going out in the world um, but let's back to this um it does have some slip but it's not the best um i've had better it, it, it did help detangle some but i think because i had pretty much blotted my hair dry like dry before i put the conditioner on because that's another thing i don't want to put a product on just on top of a bunch of water like if you know what i mean like you know when you wish wash your hair and your hair is dripping wet I never put conditioner on top of dripping wet hair just because the water is dripping wet and your product is going to rinse out with the water dripping out, dripping down or whatever is dripping on. So I like to uh, dab my hair off pretty much where it's not dripping wet anymore and then I put the product on um, at that time so it's not running out. It's not slipping out um, after I put it on. So I think um, my hair is coated fairly well. Um, uh, right now, I'm gonna put one more for, you know, good measure. But this is how it looks in the back. I'm not sure if y'all are seeing that or not. But, yeah. This is how it looks in the back. Um, so we're gonna see. I'm gonna put the cap on. I'm gonna leave it on. I'm just gonna do one hour today just for the sake of time. And just see if it, if one hour is enough. On the packaging, it says leave it on for like 30 minutes. Um, I think it said, so 
I always do way more than what it tells me to. Um, in fact, it only says leave on for five to ten minutes, then rinse it out. But <laughs> no, we're gonna leave it on for thirty minutes for an hour rather, and then I'll rinse it out. And then I'll tell y'all how my hair feels after I rinse it out. Um, but it definitely looks pretty. I mean, it looks pretty moisturizing. I can say that my hair does look moisturized. It feels good. It feels really soft. So we'll see. I will be back. Okay. Okay, you guys. I am back. I just got done um, washing the conditioner out, the leave-in mask. And, uh, I mean, I can't really tell. Of course, it's the first time using it. So, I can't really tell. I mean, my hair does feel like it did, like, clean some of the oils and stuff out. Like, it doesn't feel as oily and greasy as it was before. And it does feel soft. And I can definitely smell um the the actual conditioner itself it does smell really good yeah like it does smell really like clean and fresh um so i'm going to keep on trying it and maybe once i'm actually done with the container because i do a deep condition every week once a week um so maybe once i'm done with the conditioner i can come back and do like a final over overall review of what i did think of the conditioner once it's all gone but i mean i guess it did, does what it does um it doesn't help to find curls or anything like that but um this is my hair just kind of like um not towel dry but t-shirt dried because i use a t-shirt an old t-shirt to dry my hair and once i um done washing it or conditioning it or whatever so i just have like a t-shirt here and i just kind of you know boom 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 but yes, you guys, that's all. I will continue to um, let you all know what I think about this product. If you have ever used this product, please comment down below and let me know how it worked for you. Like, what kind of hair do you have? How do you use it? Um, what did you think about it? If it sucked for you, let me know that too. Also, please subscribe to my channel and let your homegirls know to come follow me. Subscribe and like down at the bottom. See you later.